hey everyone welcome to drawing art so in this video i'm going to create an epic illusion drawing using my imagination to draw a snake overlapped a realistic hand while drawing on a piece of paper so this is a less tutorial video and more like an art talk about the creative process block but before that let's sketch out all of the basic structure of the drawing and we gotta build up the layers of shading from the hand area first. So I'm blocking out the details with the 2B pencil by Faber Castle before adding the first layer of the shading. Once I'm done with the details, now I'm going to block out further details with the same pencil and adding up some of the darker values in all over the hand area. And then I'm going to use the eraser to popping up some of the smoother highlights and then I'll smudge it out with this tissue paper. I'm also using here the chisel tip of an eraser to create some of the wrinkled or creases um, as I can see uh, over the fingers of the hand and then I'll smudge out all over the hand area with a tissue paper. After finishing up the hand drawing, now it's time to create an epic illusion. I'm going to draw a snake from head to the halfway and which will be a very roughly one and I'm going to create a very rough detail in it. And then after that, I'm going to create a three dimensional illusion and I'll shade the rest of the snake more realistically to really make this drawing stand out. Now it's time to draw the scales on snake and these lines are not really flat, they're kind of a cylindrical or three dimensional one. So make sure that when you draw the scales, they should be in curve and looks like three dimensional. For creating the details, I'm using here the replica of Tombow Mono Zero Eraser. You can check out the link of this video in the card up above. After that, I'm using this black pencil to create the darker values in the details of the snake scales. So that's how it's look like after the half a details. As you can see that I have done the details with the black pencil for the darker areas of the scale. So after that I'm going to use the pencil eraser along with the whitener. You can use any whitener to create brighter highlights and for the smoother highlights you have to go for the eraser one. So I'm going to create the highlights by using these two tools. 
So for the remaining area of the scales, we are going to use the same procedure as I have done before. But the difference is only here is I'm using a mechanical pencil for creating some more sharper and specific lines. And now I'm using the black pencil to create some more snake skin texture for adding some of the realistic details. And the idea came from the concept of procrastination which is an opposite of decisiveness and in every creative process of creating something from nothing we, we more often face this a lot guess what a big creative block so I try to transfer my thoughts that how how suffocating it feels like to have that creativity overlapped with any procrastination like you really want to do something and you really want to create something but you you feel like you are not able to draw or create anything so in that situation you really need to own it whatever is coming in front of your uh, creative block just own it and allow it because when you own and allow or accept the resistance or any hurdle that will give you a more access to get there and that's the key to love the unlovable part of the process so this is it for today's video and i hope this video is going to give some value in your creative journey if you really like this video feel free to give your valuable feedback in the comment down below see you in the next video till then goodbye